Our brand new turbo blankets are here for the S58 platform. This is perfect for the M2 competition, M3, M4, and many others. As you know, this is a twin turbo setup, so in the packet, you get both the turbo blankets, your fastening springs, and some lock wire. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fit these blankets on our workbench. I know that in the car, it's gonna be a little bit tighter, but hopefully this will show you where everything is in free space. In the packet, you'll get your turbo blankets in titanium like you see here, or carbon fiber. They both perform exactly the same. You'll also get your fastening springs, as well as some lock wire. What you will need is some good pliers, maybe a pick tool to help grab those, uh, grab those springs, as well as maybe a lock wire tool. Okay, let's get into it. So in the packet, there's two different styles of turbo blanket. One specifically tailored for the front turbo and one's for the rear turbo. For now, I'm just gonna show you the front and then we're gonna move on to the rear after. Once you've found the correct blanket for the front turbo, first up, you have to fit the fastening springs on the hardest to reach anchor points first, as always. That's these two here. You do that just like this. Now you just need to slide the turbo blanket underneath the actuator arm, which would be sat here, around the turbine housing, around underneath. Once you're happy with how that's fitted and the blanket is wrapped nicely around the manifold portion as well as the turbine housing, now it's the tricky bit. You've got to grab the springs from down the back. You can either use a, a cable tire or you can use some pliers or I've got a pick tool here. I prefer this method. You can reach under there, grab that and then pull that through and fasten onto your first anchor point. Now you need to find the second spring which is found just down the side of the turbo here. Use your tool as before and then use your hands to fit that into place. Now you've got to this stage and the blanket is fitted, but it doesn't look quite right. It's all about manipulating the blanket so it sits perfectly around the actuator so it isn't interfering with that and the rest of the blanket's contours. To pull that into place, you might need to pull the turbine housing section around a little bit, just to give you a little bit more material on top. And then that will just sit there, just perfect. Great, so once you're happy with how the blanket sat around the turbine housing and the manifold, we're now gonna move on to the other blanket. So now we're gonna move on to the rear turbo. This design's a little bit more complex just because of the more compact nature of this turbo. You're gonna need a fastening spring as before on the bottom two, and we're also gonna use some lock wire on this one here. You'll understand why a little bit later. So as before, we're gonna lay the turbo blanket on top and just wrap that towel all the way underneath. The first spring to fit is underneath the flange. That's gonna wrap all the way around onto the anchor point here. That's gonna hold the turbo blanket in place. You can see at this stage that the manifold portion is really spread out. That needs to be tucked down the side and then we can expose and see the spring underneath. You need to grab that and fasten that onto the anchor point. Perfect, so now the blanket's fastened in place with the springs, you can now manipulate that into place so it doesn't interfere with the actuator or the flange. However, you will notice the rest of the manifold portion is a little bit floppy. Just poke that around the manifold there, and then use the lock wire from earlier, we're actually gonna secure that onto the final anchor point. Okay, so you wanna make sure that blanket is tucked right out of the way, and then you can either use a pair of pliers or a fancy lock wire tool like this. Just make sure that's in place there. Grab your lock wire tool if you're using that. Now that's securing in place, you can either lock wire it like I have or cut the ends, it's entirely up to you. You need to manipulate the blanket again, just so it doesn't interfere with the actuator or some of the outside surfaces aren't gonna to touch anything hot like your downpipe. Once you've done that, you're done. So there we go, that's the basics of how to fit these turbo blankets. I know in the engine bay it might be a little bit more difficult, but hopefully you have a better understanding of where the routing of all the different springs and the anchor points are. These are now available at funkmotorsport.com. If you've got any other questions, drop us a message, we're more than happy to help, or we can find the perfect turbo blanket for you.